forgive me. Forgive me. Heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere, filling all things, the treasure of blessings and source of life, come, abide in us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O good one. Heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere, filling all things, the treasure of blessings and source of life, come, abide in us, Cleanse us of all stain and save our souls, O good one. Heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere and filling all things, the treasure of blessings and source of life, come, abide in us, cleanse us of all stain and save our souls, O good one. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to let me enjoy its favor. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to men who enjoy its favor. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will speak out of your praise. Blessed is the kingdom.
and Rehoboam the father of Abijah, and Abijah the father of Asaph, and Asaph the father of Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, and Joram the father of Uzziah, and Uzziah the father of Jotham, and Jotham the father of Ahaz, and Ahaz the father of Hezekiah, and Hezekiah the father of Manasseh, and Manasseh the father of Ammon, and Ammon the father of Josiah, and Josiah the father of Jeconiah and his brothers in the time of the deportation to Babylon. And after the deportation to, to Babylon, Jeconiah was the father of Shealtiel, and Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel, and Zerubbabel the father of Abiud, and Abiud the father of Eliakim, and Eliakim the father of Azor, and Azor the father of Zadok, and Zadok the father of Akim, and Akim the father of Eliud, and Eliud the father of Eleazar, and Eleazar the father of Mathan, and Mathan the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David were fourteen generations. And from David to the deportation to Babylon, 14 generations. And from the deportation to Babylon to Christ, 14 generations. Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child of the Holy Spirit, and her husband Joseph, being a just man, unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to, div to divorce her quietly. But as he considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. And all of this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took his wife, but knew her not, until she, she had born a son. And he called his name Jesus. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you, O Lord. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is among us. In today's epistle reading, we hear St. Paul reminding the Hebrews of all the judges and the prophets of the Old Testament who lived by faith, who lived by faith in the coming of the Messiah, who lived by faith in the Word of God, because God has given them His Word that He's going to send a Savior to them. Even if they didn't see this Savior with their physical eyes, they lived by faith in the Word God has given to them that the Savior would come. In today's Gospel reading, we see Joseph, who was a, already an old man, he was a widower, having to live by faith. He got himself into a lot more that he bargained for when he accepted to betroth Mary, who was a young virgin, a very young virgin. He himself was an old widower, but he agreed to take care of this young girl and to be her husband, to have her under his protection. 
Little he knew what he got himself into. After betrothing her, he found out that she was pregnant and he didn't know what to do about it. And then the angel of God appears to him and tells him not to be afraid, but to be faithful and to take care of her because the one conceived within his betrothed one is of the Holy Spirit and he's called to, to call his, he's to call the baby Jesus. God saves because he will be the savior of the world. Poor Joseph had to live by faith and to trust the word of the angel and the life of Joseph was changed forever. Like the prophets of the Old Testament, like Joseph, so many times in our life, we have to live by faith. We don't see with our physical eyes the promise given to us. But the promise was given to us and we have to live by faith. And so beautifully, St. Paul says in the same letter to the Hebrews that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Once again, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. In the original Greek New Testament, the word translated with substance is hypostasis. Hippo means under, stasis means to stand. Faith is to stand under. <laughs> to stand under the word and the promise of God. It is to stand under the things hoped for, for uh, uh, the evidence of things not seen. The word translated with evidence is the Greek word elekos, which means an inner conviction. This is what it means to live by faith. Because only through faith we can hope for the things which cannot, which could, could not see. But how many times in our life we have to do that? When we have to go through a surgery, when we have to go through an exam, when we have to go through something which we cannot see yet, but we know that by the grace of God we could accomplish in life. When we are in those situations, let us remember that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, and like the prophets of the Old Testament, and like Joseph, we live by faith. And for us, for Christians, faith is more than hoping for something that we do not see because by the grace of God we have seen the Messiah because the Messiah has come and is with us but about the dwelling of the Messiah within us about Emmanuel about God being with us God willing we will speak tomorrow Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. And grant always, guarded by your power, we give glory to you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and the
who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in Remembering therefore this from 
friend of the Savior, and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement of the right hand of the Father, and the second glorious coming, we offer you your own, all your own, in the fall, and for
you can say, I'm a John Hersey for many years, right in teaching the word of your truth. Remember also those who speak of us for the mind and all your Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and the ages of ages. Amen.
you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and deed, of knowledge and ignorance. And make me worthy to partake without condemnation of your holy communion for the remission of my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Of your mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant. For I will not speak of your mystery to your enemies, neither will I give you a kiss, as did Judas. But like a thief, I will confess you. Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. May the communion of your holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of soul and body. Amen. Forgive me. Forgive me. No.
life to be an awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our Lord. For you are our sanctification and to you we give glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Yeah.
Who for the salvation of all gave birth to God in the flesh, and to whom the human race has found salvation. Through you, pure and blessed as the Autocos, may we find paradise.
give rest to the soul of your departed servant, Christos, in a place of light, in a place of repose, in a place of refreshment, where there is no pain, sorrow, and suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin he has committed in thought, word, or deed, for there is no one who lives in this sinless. You alone are without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is true. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant Christos, Christ our God. And to you we give glory with your eternal Father and your own holy the life giving spirit. Now and forever and the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
praying to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Offer him the blessing. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you. Through his divine grace and love, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who is risen from the dead, as a good God in and merciful God, mercy on us and save us. Through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodily spores of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and for John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs, our holy and God-bearing fathers, the holy and righteous ancestor Joachim and Anna, all saints Boniface and Saint Ignatius of Antioch, whose memory we commemorate today, and of all the saints. Go back to our cars and go to the next house. 
So we'll try to be very cautious, but still to bring the joy of Christmas to those who did not come to church. Then, on Thursday evening at 6 p.m., we will get together for the Christmas Eve service. We will serve the Vesper Holy Liturgy of Christmas at 6 p.m. 30 people could come in person for this service. We discussed the number of people at the British Council meeting we had on Tuesday evening, and we decided that from now on, we will go for 30 people in church in person, 25 people in the narthex of the church, five more people, younger people, in the balcony, in the choir room. So, for Christmas Eve, 30 people will be allowed to come to church in person. We'll have the sign-up list ready early on Monday morning. Also, on Friday morning, on Christmas Day, at 10 a.m., we will serve the Holy Liturgy again. No sign-up required for the Holy Liturgy on Christmas Day. Again, to give the chance to more people to come to church in person. If you don't want to drive at night on Christmas Eve, you could drive during the day on Christmas Day and come to church. Next Sunday, God willing, we'll get together to celebrate the Holy Liturgy for the Sunday after the Nativity of the Lord and for Stan Stephen, the first martyr. And of course, at 8.45 p.m. we'll have meetings, and then at 10 a.m. the Holy Liturgy. Christ is among us. Also, Gilad Faithful, I have the joy of introducing uh, a new member of our church to you today, Nikolai Nikolov. He moved to Fort Wayne recently, and uh, I met with Nikolai, I think it was back in May or June, something like that. Uh, he's a very good Christian, and before moving to Fort Wayne, he wanted to make sure that there is a Christian an Orthodox Christian church in Fort Wayne, where, which could become his home church, his church family. So welcome, Nikolai. God bless you. Welcome to Fort Wayne. Welcome among us. And because I think today we celebrate, or the churches that uh, follow the old calendar, celebrate St. Nicholas today, I wish you a happy day today. God bless. God bless. And uh, now I would ask I would ask you to come for the veneration of the cross, family by family, or person by person. The Narcos family will have Koliva ready for you in the narthex of the church. Please pick it up, and please do not congregate in the narthex of the church. If you want to change, exchange a few words, please do so in the parking lot. Thank you very much. God bless you.